most of the uh, reports of CPT being produced uh, by the uh, collaboration with the villagers and farmers and the people on the ground. We have witnesses uh, uh, is 68,000 of donors of agriculture land forests have been completely barren because of the Turkish military operation of the current military operation since June 15 that the new military operation started until the July 15 19 civilian uh, houses have been exploded or bombed by the Turkish uh, fighter jets or artillery shelling. Nine villages have been completely evacuated because of the Turkish military operation on the ground. 184 families have been displaced and they don't have any place to go. People doesn't have access to their home. People doesn't have access to go to their farm, to farm, you know, in their villages. So it is completely invasion. Uh, it is not a military operation. Uh, it is a complete invasion that Turkey is doing. What we have observed, uh, one of the tactics that Turkish military force is using is targeting the vill villages that even PKK guerrillas are not inside just to force people to leave and also burning their farms agriculture land to push people out from their villages, then they will have a better battleground to fight against guerrillas. Uh, actually, the effect is not only on the civil and lives, the effect is on also the historical places, the infrastructure of Iraqi Kurdistan. For example, during this recent operation, Turkey targeted a church in Miska village in Kani Masa sub-district. They destroyed the church, which is Miska is a Christian village that almost 13 families are living there. During the this new operation, Turkey has bombed a school in Mije village. They completely destroyed the, 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 the school. Uh, Turkey has uh, bombed two water resources in the area and they destroyed it. Turkey has uh, destroyed uh, like the, uh, has destroyed the electrical power and cable that people doesn't have electricity in the area anymore. Turkish ba Turkish soldiers when they are building military bases, they are taking uh, telecommunication towers with them as well. That this telecommunication tower is interrupting with the Kurdish or Iraqi telecommunication uh, network. And because of that, 110 villages, they have difficulties to have access for the, for the Kurdish or Iraqi telecommunication network. When you are arriving there, uh, when I arrived at the area, myself, in 10 minutes, I got four uh, SMSs uh, saying uh, goodbye from Iraq, welcome to Turkey in the area. Since 1991, Turkish military, like because of the Turkish military operations inside Iraqi Kurdistan, 704 civilians have been killed or injured in Iraqi Kurdistan. Turkey wants to make a buffer zone, like from Iraqi Kurdistan, I'm connected with Rojava, and all of these places have been taken since 1991. None of these bases like have been withdrawing, you know, none of the Turkish soldiers have been withdrawing. Whenever Turkey is controlling an area, they will never ever leave these areas. So Turkey is trying to control the area and also attach it with the Turkey land. And this area that have been taken is uh, a de facto border right now. The, the, the map that we do have, the border that have been uh, like drawn 100 years ago, it is not the border anymore. Now we have a, a de facto border right now because of the Turkish military operation. So if the government who's impacted by this military operation is saying nothing, how can the other governments can say something? But we as CPT, uh, we really feel that, uh, that the international community, they are playing double moral uh, in, in, in that situation. Uh, they are silent not because Turkey hasn't violated the uh, the, the sovereignty of Iraq or uh, conducting war crimes. Uh, they are silent because Turkey is their good partner. Uh, they are partnering in NATO and in many uh, other operations together. So we really think they both, uh, because of their interests, economical and political interests, 
they have choose to be silent. We have met with the Iraqi uh, Kurdistan authorities. Uh, we have met with the local authorities in the area as we have communicated with them that we are really concerned about what's going uh, uh, what's going on in the area. And we are still meeting with the people who are impacted. We are uh, not a, a, like a state uh, actor. We are just uh, like an NGO. Uh, we are expecting some change, but uh, like we are not very sure if anything is going to happen. We do our work as an NGO, international and also civil society organization. We are really hoping by the, through this clarification and explanation for the people who has power we will make some change in people's life in the area but if not we are not responsible the people who are responsible is that involving in this war and also the people who are silent they have chosen to be silent the people who are supporting war in the area instead of peace <music>